Ja. Okay guys, so just before part one of this vlog starts, I'm just going to say a massive thank you to Q Hotels for putting us up in this beautiful hotel, beautiful room, that's our little doorway to our, to our suite, we're going to go and um, have a drink and enjoy the, the facilities in the hotel. <laughs> Morning guys, welcome down to Q Hotels on the golf course this time. Beautiful overnight stay in the hotel. This is the crack of dawn with the first out. Fletch is up, par five. Oh, Ripped it. Fade down the middle. This is a 502 yard par five. Probably, no, it's a generous par five to start, Fletch. Oh yeah, felt great that. Felt good that. <laughs> it did. Straight down the middle. The swing looks I've, I've I've not got out of bed and hit a tee shot like that in a long time. The swing looks quite loose to be fair. The group ahead just waved us through, but we carried on, so that's fine. <laughs> Playing off the back sticks as well here today. Yeah, 502. Par 5 stroke in next eight. Left on me. Just stayed slightly to the left. Has he missed the bunker? Nope, it's in it. Uh oh. Fine, it'll be fine. So, looking back from the clubhouse, first tee, pan round. Carter's just missed the ferry left side. Awkward. Downhill lie. How Very are you going to play it? Awkward to start. I've got a long way left, so I'm just going to lay up with an eight iron. Flag looks like it's towards the front of the green. Centre right side of the fairway. Ish. Ah, oh, he's played it well. Just coming up. Yeah, that's good. Just man. coming up there. Nice, I'll do. Good shot. How does it feel to get out driven on the first? <laughs> well, you know what? I'm used to it, Fletcher. You're always out driving me. Always, always. <laughs> Look at that. Two yards on him. Right, Fletch is up now, he's got 228 to the flag. The rain is just starting to come down a bit heavier, isn't it? Yeah, get this, this one on. This is not nice. What are we playing match play? We're playing, let's play some stroke play. Uh, Good old stroke play, eh? Cheers. Nine hole match. Nine hole match. Oh, what a strike. Just stayed left on your left side of the fair green even? No. Nah, it's good that. Just left side of the green. The camera's coming out a very strange colour. I think it's just because it's the middle of the night still. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's pouring down now. Right, match abandoned. Back to bed. Yep. So, Carter, the yardage? Yardage, 84. 84 yards. Dead pin in the distance. Be a good path. <laughs> right, coming onto the green, guys. And that that's mine, yeah. Happy with that. I was just saying off camera, I wish I could do that in tournaments because I'm struggling at the moment from that sort of yardage. Take the positives anyway. Fletch with a. This is an awkward chip. Short sided himself. Out with the lob wedge. Not a massive amount of green to it, and the greens do look nice and cut. They look, didn't want to miss it right, they look quick. Well, yeah, I suppose he's, ma he's, missed a, he's made a valid point. There's a massively deep bunker there and out of bounds, so you don't miss right. So he's probably... Oh, it's not a bad shot, it's landed softly. Sit, sit. Yeah, good effort that. Well played. Are you happy with that one? 
I was expecting something a bit more extravagant, maybe like an open of the face and anything, but we just simplified it. No need to open the face. Just None of this flop shot malarkey. Don't need it. Not required. Technique and strike. So Carson's got a slight downhill, are you seeing it right to left? It's a little bit downhill right to left, yeah. A little bit like that, woo. Not bad though, if I can get the speed. They look nice, the greens. Greens looking in fantastic condition. Cool anyway. Go on now, let's start with a birdie. I'll give you that. Cheers. No, not, no. not that one. Ah, I thought I was. Can't believe that. The downhill bit scared me. Not sure why. Even if I go two foot past, it's not going to be that bad. So, stay all square. Uh, not all square. Level par. Fletch for an opening birdie. Yeah. Quite nice, wasn't it? Oh no! Oh, Push hello. Step. That one coming back's not the easiest. Joking, are you? <laughs> Take it away. Right, so we've got through the first hole. Ah. Both of us at level par. A little bit disappointed not to have converted one of those birdie chances Both between us. Gone. Both of them should have gone. Yeah, Very exactly. Right, over to the par four second. Another nice, interesting hole coming up. Okay, so par four second hole. 381 yards. Interesting, it's oops, sorry, relatively relatively wide to be fair. There's not a massive amount of danger. It's an interesting character to look at the hole though. Two trees here that will come into play with driver and one bunker down down the left hand side. But it's a generous fairway really. It's an interesting approach to the green though. Lots of undulations, lots of humps and mounds and bunkers surrounding the green. So the tee shot shouldn't be an issue. Shouldn't be. But we'll see. You never know. That's Fletches out with driver. Driver. Start it left side, uh, right side of that bunker and just fade it off the bunker. Yeah, that's the shot. Not Just, yeah, it start, you pushed it and then it's faded so it's right side of the fairway. Yeah, it's alright. It's a generous fairway. Exactly, see? Allows for the push. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, yeah, leave the face open at impact press. Do not miss this right. Yeah, uh, do not miss this left. Come out with a slightly shorter stick. Three wood you going with? Yeah. Three wood. Got a draw into the left to right wind. Oh, going to draw option. Locked it, going towards them little trees here. Oh. Oh. Third wood. Wow, I think he's hit that one. Hit that big one. The big one. Ooh, problem. Problems. What are we looking at, Carter? 157. 157 into, into a slight breeze. Yeah. There's Carter's bulb. Just level with yours, isn't it? But I hit the middle of the tree. You hit the middle of the three. <laughs> Look at the size of it. Ooh. I would have hit three with Paxton. You would have. <laughs> but I didn't. That's fine. But you didn't. <laughs> right, yeah. The approach shot, as you mentioned on the tee, it's all about making sure you, you don't come up short, isn't it, really? Yeah, I'm going, I'm avoiding the flag. It looks like it's caught on the left side, so I'm going middle of the green with the Middle of the green. Staying away from the, the left one. I'm just kind of stuck flag. with the eight iron selection. Don't want to be going over here, guys. Good, good course management, landed right side of the green. Yeah, that's fine that. Didn't want to miss it left. Nah. Memory serves, there's a lot of bunkers. Good three foot range. Yeah, no problem for me. <laughs> <laughs> right, 
Right, so Fletch is up from the middle of the fairway with a perfect push. That's the target there, guys. So I... Uh, yeah, that looks like the one. The amber tree. Do not want to be short. Better long than short. Yeah, definitely. I'm right short fringe, so... 7-9 in hand. Go with one extra. Oh, a bit heavy. A bit heavy, go, get up. Oh, oh, you lucky person. Player, player. <laughs> that landed short of the bunkers and then hopped it. <laughs> I, think, I think you're still short of the green, but you're very lucky. Thank you, thank you. We'll see you in a minute. <laughs> it's around about an inch short of the ball. <laughs> <laughs> Right guys, as Carter mentioned, you don't want to be short left here, look at all the danger. So I've just ended up popping on just here. Yeah. And Carter. How is the question? How? It was a good fat. <laughs> it, was, it was half fat, half struck. Half fat, half struck. If there's such a thing. I'm probably half a club short. Yes. Look at the pace. Mm. Oh. Oh. Oh, he oh, had the oh. line as well. Had the line. Hang on, line, that's off. Oh. You can tell he's a tournament player. Don't even mark, he just walks up, taps it's it. It's tournament, I always mark them. <laughs> I played a program yesterday and the guy said to me, you mark it like, and line it up from like two foot away. I was like, yeah, because I've missed them in the past. <laughs> and they just go up to it and like, they try and tap in the six footers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll, just tap, I'll just tap that in lads. Mate, it's six foot away. <laughs> it's like the hardest putt you can have. Yeah, I always mark it, clean it, check the line, even when I know it's right, just to double check. In a tournament. So left to right slope. To yeah. Here. Up the hill. Yeah. Halfway up is a left to right break. We're going to hold one. Well, I need to after the last hole, I need to get one back. I've given one to the course. I need to take one back. Take it back. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it! Oh! <laughs> oh, wow. Is it going to be one of them days? Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> it's going to be one of them days. Oh, isn't it? no, I thought it's you had that. That would have been a shocking birdie. Why? <laughs> Fairway, green, one putt. Fair enough. <laughs> oh, I love one. Oh, that would have been a great birdie. Yeah. Right guys, over to the third. Right guys, as you can see on the screen, absolutely love this par three. Signature hole, isn't it? Yeah, it's absolutely Wonderful. brilliant. Really interesting, difficult as well. Water short, water around the left, not much room right, and a bit of a drop off behind as well. Trees on the left here, obviously not really in play unless you hit a really bad shot, but it's a nice little valley to hit through. 178 yards today to the flag into wind which just makes it a little bit more difficult to judge that's why Fletch is going first <laughs> <laughs> not, not because I've got the honour <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so we're both level par through two we, we, uh, we've both had out, we both should have birdied the first we both had outside chances on the second and Fletch for sure needed one more roll for his birdie yeah. so we've started well I hope you'll agree Last time I played this hole, I made birdie. Right, Let's, we need to give the guys something, something nice to finish on. Exactly. Five iron in hand. You got a little five iron here? Yeah. Well, might not be with that wind. Might be a big one. Oh, oh 
you pulled it. No! Those feet were a long way open. That's on the Lex T. Oh. <laughs> I look. <laughs> Unhappiness. Unhappiness in the highest order. I'm going for a little punchy six. It's usually the perfect little hard seven iron. So I'm going to wear the, the fat part of the greens to the right of the flag. So I'm going to keep this one a bit safer. If it draws, happy days. Good punch, like the rotation through. Come Got on, the draw. Oh, sit down. Yeah, bounce on the front edge. To just stay there. Oh, I was all over it. <laughs> My word. It's all right. Right, so we've got a couple of issues for Fletch. <laughs> He's on the tee. On the tee, Chris Fletcher. <laughs> So yeah, he pulled it left. To be fair, he's done well to avoid the drink. He had plenty of club in his hand. Just double crossed it really. I saw him aiming down the left side, just wanted to kind of float it back in. But he's double crossed it, pulled it straight left. So, it's a tricky shot. This is about 30 yards away. He's out with a lob wedge. He's got a bit of green to work with. It's not the, it's, well, it's not easy. He's gone high. He's landing about front edge here. Through. needs to release, go on, release. So he's got that left for his par foot. So there's a chance, there's a chance. I am on the very front edge there. Hit the fringe, just pop back a little bit. So I'm out with a 54 degree. I'm gonna chip it up the, up the green and roll the putt. So Carter's got 54 out. Just landed on the front edge and then thankfully just held up just held up there in the fringe, otherwise it would have been in the water. Let's see if we can pull off a good up and down here. Get on to the next. Slight uphill line. So he's going to try and distribute his weight and shoulder alignment. Oh, he's played it well. Played it well. Shot. It's just going out a bit more than that. It's virtually give me range. <laughs> yeah, I didn't say I'm giving it you. That's it. Two far series would be nice, Fletch. Oh, yeah. It'd be a nice way to bow out part one with two par saves. I'd be pretty happy with that. We're both struggling a little bit. How are you reading it's this? Great hole though, really. It just it is an awesome hole. Well, let's get set up. Lovely little, um, like really deep side of the green there, short right, and then just pan back to the hole. Really, really cool. Long as well, so it's not like a little short postage stamp. It's 180 yards. Tough hole. At the um, seniors PGA Championship right, here. here back in 2003 so it's held some prestigious events Fletch has gone hard oh just the pace beat the lip but it's the pace that probably kept it online good effort I give me good effort that. yeah yeah take that away so Fletch finishes part one what one over that? par it's, it's hard hurtful luck. it is because this, of two good birdie chances this game it, it just it bites you hard if golf, you don't. Golf is hard. Yeah, golf you, is cruel. If you don't take those chances. On another day, you could have started birdie birdie, and then maybe bogeyed this and got to the got through three one under. Yeah. So this is for Carter to take the early lead. Let's weigh this up, shall we? <laughs> Nice right, little duck face right there. Edge. Right, right edge. The oh. Wow. It's 
both of us it's just taken us both anyway I didn't think that was breaking to oh. be fair it's a tough par 3 although it's not never nice taking a bogey no it's a tough par 3 but oh well right that's the end of part 1 guys massive thank you to Q Hotels group and the beautiful Mottram Hall amazing accommodation last night fantastic opening 3 holes here on the golf course really really looking forward to li the, literally the next 15 holes this is a superb golf course so guys come and check it out the link for q hotels and mottram hall is in the description below and for me up left we're going to go over to the fourth really tricky very interesting sh long actually i was going to say short longish par four today into the wind so we'll see you in part two guys yeah